Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog! This is Mimi Guapa! This morning, we shall do another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are creating these videos as an alternative for people who are always on the go and struggling to develop a closer relationship with Jesus by studying His words and learning about Him daily. So we are uploading these videos on YouTube that in less than 10 minutes of watching these videos, your lives will be enriched and that you will learn practical lessons from this book that is very essential in our everyday living because we are encouraged to study the Bible every single day. Your religious affiliations do not matter here. As long as you are a Christian wanting to develop a closer relationship with Jesus, well, these videos were created especially for you. We have been doing this daily since June 9, 2022. And if this is the first time that you've joined us, know that we have done this yesterday and we will do this again tomorrow. We hope that you can join us again and that you will enjoy this, chan this series in our channel. Thank you so much. Now, let's get on with our reading for today. But before we do so, may I invite you to please seek the Lord with me in prayer. Shall we all pray? Our loving Father, the creator of heaven and earth, the source of true knowledge and success, our master teacher, our greatest leader. Father, we thank you so much for all the good things and all the bad things that we have received and have passed through in this life. Wherein we have learned how to be resilient, we have learned lessons that will last a lifetime and molded our character and brought us closer to you. God, may you help us to be victorious in all the things that we are going through and may you bless our families and loved ones, keep them safe, provide them with their needs, Lord, and may in all the things that we do, Father, people will see you and glorify you through the things that we are doing for them. God, we are just vessels of your blessings. May we serve as such to our neighbors, to the people that we, interacted with, we interact with daily. Father, we ask you to open our hearts and our minds that we will be receptive of the message that we will be hearing this morning and that we will be able to apply them in our daily lives. And we will be victorious in all the struggles that we are going through. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything. May you bless our church leaders and workers, the nations, the schools, the worlds, that they will be able to travel the path of righteousness towards you and lead more people unto your feet. We entrust to you our lives, Father, and our trespasses we confess them unto you forgive us lord and cleanse us purify us we ask all of this in the loving name of jesus amen to every man his work october 24 for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch Mark chapter 13, verse 34. We have a personal work, an individual responsibility, a personal account to render, and it is our own salvation we must secure, for it is a matter of individual concern. The piety and obedience of others will not save us or be doing our work. Their efforts will never be registered against our names as ours. God has left to every one of us our work, not the temporal labor as planting, sowing, reaping, and gathering in the harvest, but to build up His kingdom, to bring souls to the knowledge of the truth, and to regard this as our first and highest duty. God has claims upon us. He has endowed us with capabilities and given us opportunities if we will see them and improve them. These obligations to God none but ourselves individually can meet. The delinquencies of others will be no excuse for anyone to follow their example, 
because Christ is lifted up as the only true pattern, faultless, pure, uncorrupted. There are those who associate together to do evil and seem to think in this that they lose their individual responsibility. But God holds them accountable for every act performed that has the slightest tendency to counteract with the work of Christ. Whether they are united with many or with a few, the sin is the same. We are individually responsible. We ourselves should be our concern. Are we in all our words and actions building up the kingdom of Christ or are we tearing down? Christ says to each one of us, follow me. Then, let us be found followers of Jesus Christ. Now is our time to work. Now is the time for us to form characters after the divine model. If we know Christ, we shall reveal him to others. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have I also sent them into the world. John chapter 17 verse 18 He came into the world to represent the Father, and the work he has given us is to represent his character. We cannot be excused from doing his work. The end for today's reading. So we are to represent Christ. May our lives show that we are the bearer of the good news. That we are living up as examples, as followers of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Sometimes it's hard to have a perfect character, a perfect life. And in reality, nobody is perfect. But if our lives are founded on Jesus, if our lives are entrusted to God, in our small actions, in all the deeds that we do, people will see God in us. I am also a struggling Christian, and that is the reason why I am reading this devotional and sharing this with you every single day since June 9, 2022. Because I discovered that in this small way, in this small action that I am doing, just like reading and uploading them on YouTube, even though sometimes it stresses me out because I also have a work to do, but these actions will somehow help people, help you who are watching this, to learn lessons and practical truths that will bring you closer to your master and to your king. So I hope, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that you are enlightened by the message today and that you will know that you have a personal responsibility, a responsibility that only you can do because we are all given talents to, the, to prosper and to preach the gospel of the Lord. Not all the time through words, but most of the time, through our actions. May God bless you, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for leaving a like, for leaving a comment, for sharing this video to people whom you think will be blessed by the message of the Lord, and for subscribing in our channel. God loves you. Adieu.